I want you to be able to see how the AlkaStream works. All right, there is a button on the top of it, and when you push it, it actually is pretty packed full of pressure. So I'm just going to show you. And it kind of splashes. <laughs> so that's something I don't like about it. Another thing is a little on the cheap side as far as this this um, spout. It, it just kind of un I'll show you later. I'm just going to push this in and that stops it. Now I my my mother-in-law actually used this Alcastream for about a year uh, but then she decided that she really didn't uh, want it after all. It was, it was a little bit of a hassle uh, getting, as you can see, it's a little bit difficult with turning it on and things like that. And this button kind of broke for her, so that was a little bit of a hassle. Another thing is this pulls out, and it, I, you know, I, I just don't know. It's a, it's not quite as well made, and there's no electric. There's no platinum. There's no particular reason, I think, why you would pay $399 for this. It's basically a filter housing with a, with a good filter in it. Um, like I said, I'm not going to test it, but it had similar results to the Well Blue pitcher, and I actually really prefer the Well Blue pitcher. If I'm going to tell somebody, hey, you know, you can't afford an ionizer, well, what should I recommend for you? I will recommend this. Because out of all of the non-electric uh, ionization uh, <laughs> mechanisms that I've seen, this actually works the best. It's not anything near as good as an electric, but I will show you what it will get. I'm just going to grab some water here and pour it in. You basically just pour the water into the top bin and I'm not going to pour that much in. i just pour some and then it filters through. Now if you fill that bin completely up it will take 15 minutes to filter through and what a lot of people do is they'll just you know put the fill this bin up. It, it actually, this bin holds two liters and the bottom part holds, uh, oh wait a minute, hold on. No, this bin holds a liter and a half and the bottom part holds two liters or something like that. The bottom holds a little bit more than the top <laughs> anyway. Um, but you basically can filter about a liter or a liter and a half at a time. And that, for one person or two people, it's fine. If you had a whole family or you were trying to share the water with people, this would not be a good solution at all because the filter itself is not suitable for that much filtration during the day. I, my, my original testing of this uh, was, it, it was great ionization for the first like eight you know if you gave it a break first thing in the morning it was great then if you gave it a break for about an hour and a half with no filtration then it would also be good and then after that it if you gave it another break it'd be fine etc I'm just going to move this <clears throat> so that I can get my sample to test to show you. All right, so let me just show you the pH. And keep in mind that that 10.4 is your starting pH for St. Louis. Now, so it does raise it up a little bit, like 10.8, which is great. That's all you would need. All right, and then ORP-wise, well, 
it, and this is this is what the Alka stream will do as well. It'll give a very nice, or actually, yeah, I think the Alka stream did uh, do as well as this. So be, you know, about a negative 400 ORP, which is actually just very nice. So if you are looking for something and you don't have the <laughs> The money to to buy what you to to buy the regular ionizer, I would definitely suggest that. Now another possible thing is this. Um, it's called the H to go, or actually, it's now. I mean, this one's called the H to go, but they've changed the name one more time, <laughs> and now it's called the Tygo, and. Um, it, this is a pretty good picture. I've brought this with me on airports and things like that. But it's not anything, it's not even close to being as good as this well blue picture. But it's, it's better than nothing <laughs> when you're going to an airport. So, um, and I've tested all these smaller I've tested all of the ionizers, so I pretty much know. But out of the smaller ones, like the Alcopod and things like that, the H2GO works better than those. And the H2GO works better than the um, hydrogen stick or, or other portable things that people like to just throw in their purse and go kind of thing. So I would definitely recommend this over all of those. All right, so I want to, I don't want to wait for this to all filter through, so hold on one second. I'm just going to move this. Okay, just collect my sample and test it. All right, start with the pH. Kind of weird that it it actually reduced the pH. That's that just doesn't even seem possible. Hold on a second. Hmm. It sometimes this pH meter gets stuck, and then I let me just go grab my uh, tap water once more. All right, so tap water was 10. Hmm. 1.9, 10. All right, and then, yeah, I guess it did reduce it a little bit. That was very odd. I I haven't seen that occur, but um, hmm, just don't really understand that. Um, I'll probably I'll probably do another sample in a minute because I don't I don't like to not understand my results and the uh, ORP. Hmm, let me see, the tap water ORP is like a positive 200 something. Let's see what, whether this is, yeah, this is definitely reduced from that. So it's reducing the ORP from the original tap water down to like a 98, but it's not going negative. And this is Probably um, one thing about the H2Go is that 
when you first open the filter, it works much better. If you use it a few days, it really reduces. So that could be what we're seeing. But I'm going to just pour another bit of water through this just to double check. That's enough for a sample. All right, start with the pH. All right, so pH is like nine point nine ish. or 10. All right. And then I guess it's just similar to the other results. So anyway, the one thing is it does filter it as well. So it's better than nothing, and it's like a light little filter that you can throw in your bag and bring with you on the plane or, where, you know, traveling. Okay? So that's pretty much it. And you should definitely look at many... Uh, various testings of, of water ionizers, not just one comparison one time. I know I like to do a lot of testing and um, like for instance there are a couple of uh, ionizers that, I ha that aren't even part of this lineup that are very good ones like the I don't even have the tank 9090 in this lineup Mainly I have to buy new ionizers to put them in the lineup and that's very difficult on my expenses to be able to do all of that. But I have tested the 9090 many times and you can go on my website and look up how the 9090 compared to the Enagic and I even tested the 7070 versus the 9090 and various other things. Also another ionizer that's not in this lineup is the Samsung Vesta and uh, that's a really good one as well. So uh, anyway just uh, take a look at all my different blog posts and um, you can use the search box to put the name of a specific ionizer in there and get all the different blog posts for that ionizer. Okay? Thanks. Bye.